Hello, everyone. This is Greg Ristemann from Olympus OSSA. I'll be your host today for this webinar entitled Beyond the Elements, XRD Mineralogy and XRF Analysis for Advanced Mud Logging. Our presenters today are Jose Broom, a field sales, sales engineer from Olympus, and Don Snyder. Jose is a field sales engineer and has had nearly 30 years of experience as an application scientist with both XRD and XRF. He has extensive experience in the use of both X-ray diffraction and X-ray fluorescence as it applies to the mud logging industry. Don Snyder is a geologist with diversified well logging and is their project lead for X-ray diffraction and X-ray fluorescence. She has 10 years experience in materials engineering, core analysis, surface well logging, and advanced geochemical testing. Today we'll review XRF and XRD basics, X-ray technology in oil and gas drilling, advanced mud logging techniques, how XRF and XRD are used on site, and finish up with questions from the audience. This informational webinar is scheduled for about an hour. If you have questions, please type them into the Q&A panel in the lower right portion of your screen during the course of the presentation. The chat panel is not used for Q&A. If we're not able to get to your questions during the live webinar, they will be addressed personally by email or phone after the event. Now, without further discussion, I'd like to turn the presentation over to Jose Broom. Jose, take it away. Thank you, Greg. I'm very glad to have the opportunity to be here today with Don Snyder to talk to all of you about the use of field XRD and XRF as it relates to mud logging applications. The development of field-based XRD and XRF instrumentation has really, in the past few years, expanded the use of these technologies in this industry as an on-site tool. In effect, it has had a huge effect, and the time it takes to get the analysis, the, the cost of sending samples back to the main lab, and the ability to make decisions in real time. Don will be talking more specifically about how the mod logger uses these technologies. But first, I want to start with a basic introduction to XRD and XRF technology and how they are similar and how they differ. So what is X-ray fluorescence? Very simply put, X-ray fluorescence uses an excitation source to excite elements, uh, electrons within an atom. This excitation will eject an electron from its orbital and there is a transition at that point from the next orbital, and this transition releases an amount of energy. This energy is directly proportional to the amount of that element within your sample. Quantitative element analysis, typically magnesium to uranium. It can measure from the PPM level to percent level for most elements. On this next slide, we're showing the user interface, how the operator first sees the data output from the instrument. It consists of a graphic output, as you can see, and to the right-hand side of the slide, it also gives you elemental breakdown, concentration, and statistical analysis. So that's the output for X-ray fluorescence. Typical detection limits are uh, shown on this uh, slide here. Uh, typically, detection limits, limits will vary uh, with simple matrix, but these are some general rules that you can apply. So now we move to X-ray diffraction. X-ray diffraction is a direct mineral. 